Welcome back, everybody. Coast to Coast, This Week in America, online, thisweekinamerica.us. Thank you for being with us on the program today. Well, what started out as a demonstration of rhythm and poetry for his then seven-year-old daughter turned into a children's picture book for author Nori Charles, our guest on today's This Week in America, beautifully illustrated the saga of Moby Beast or the Redemption of Sir Robert, follows the adventures of Sir Robert as he overcomes his personal struggles and demons while searching for the miller's daughter who was captured by a beast. Nori is talking to us today from New Zealand, where he lives with his wife. He has a daughter, six nephews, three nieces, four grandnieces, and five grandnephews. Nori Charles, the author of The Saga of Moby Beast or The Redemption of Sir Robert, with us on This Week in America. Nori, welcome to the program. It's great to have you with us today. Thank you, Rick. I am really looking forward to talking about this book. It is really so well done. I mentioned beautifully illustrated. We'll talk about that in a second. It's interesting how this whole project got started. This, as I mentioned, was something between what you and your, and your seven-year-old daughter and out of uh, sitting and working with her and working on this, this form of literature, this art form, you, you came up with the idea for the book. Let's go back to when she was seven and talk about how this whole, whole process started. Yes, um, uh, she was uh, uh, sort of struggling uh, with uh, with her um, with her English classes, and um, uh, I, I hit on the idea of um, of uh, uh, limericks to um, uh, to to uh, give her give her some some idea of how how the um, the the rhythm of poetry. Um, uh, 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 um. Yeah, and it's sort of all evolved from there. It's interesting because you mentioned you, you basically started the story in the middle and then you went back and filled in the beginning and the end of the story. I'm so impressed as, as I read the book that it, it, the challenges that you had to write in this art form, that was a challenge for you as well. It was something you did to educational purposes for your daughter, but this had to be challenging for you to be able to write it in this form. Uh, I've, I've always um, always been able to uh, uh, to uh, do this, um, and um, uh, I, I, I find it I find it um, uh, quite quite um, uh, uh, very uh, very. Um, you do it so well, so this is sort of natural for you to be able to, to, to do this. As I'm reading, it's like this just has a natural flow to it. So obviously this is something that, uh, that comes natural to you then. Uh, yes, it is. Um, and um, uh, I've been, I've, I've been uh, doing this sort of um, doggerel for many, many years. <laughs> but um, yes, the, uh, the saga of Moby Beast... Um, started right in the middle um, with uh, uh, the, the little verse. Uh, he, tro he trotted along. He trotted along, and its odious pong hung thick in the in the muggy air. And he saw at last where the beast had passed by a lock of his victim's hair. And um, it's uh, that's pretty much pretty much in the middle. And um, uh, everything springs out from uh, from one end to the other, so uh, hence uh, hence the uh, starts starts and starts and ends um, uh, 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 all coming together. Well, yeah, it's, it's fascinating um, the the way the uh, the story took place. We're talking about the book, the awfully gory and really quite scary saga of Moby Beast or the Redemption of Sir Robert. The website, by the way, for Nori is mobybeast.com. You can go there, get information. The book's, of course, available at Amazon, at uh, Barnes & Noble, at bookventure.com. But the website for Nori and the book and all the information is there is at mobybeast.com. When did you decide, after being in this process with your daughter, that I actually could do a book? And I understand your wife was instrumental in that, too, in, in offering encouragement to get you to actually write the book and, and to have, have it published. Yes, that's, uh, that's, uh, that, that's very, uh, very accurate. Um, 
uh, uh, Rosie Rosie was was uh, uh, has um, has uh, uh, pushed me pushed me for for for, for this um, for quite some time, and um, uh, and I'm pleased she uh, pleased she did because uh, otherwise it wouldn't have happened. Well, and there are a lot of children around the world that will be pleased as well that she encouraged you to do this when they read the book. And I, I talked about the illustrations. Talk about how you put that together, who the illustrator is, because it really adds so much to the story because the words jump off the page as you're, as you're reading. It's like, wow, this story, as I said before, has a nice flow to it. And then you've got the pictures there that act as uh, uh, sort of a nice supplement to the words. Talk a little bit about that process of, of getting the illustration because the, the the illustration really goes right along with the uh, with with the text in the book. It does, yes. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 artist was uh, uh, a, a Filipino uh, person, um, uh, An- Angel de la Pena, and and uh, I think he did a, a really good job. Um, I'm no, I'm no artist myself, so uh, uh, so uh, it was it was good to have it through the uh, original pod publishers. So much as I mentioned, the fact that uh, you know the words literally jump off the page as you're reading them to a child, or the child is reading, and then you've got the pictures there to uh, to actually go along with that. The book is, again is available all across uh, the country, the world. Uh, our guest on today's program coming to us from New Zealand. The book is called "The Saga of Moby Beast or the Redemption of Sir Robert." It's available literally everywhere books are sold. You can find information at MobyBeast.com. Let's talk a little bit about developing the character. Once you started the the process of, in working with your daughter. Talk about how you how you develop the different characters and the storyline for the book. Oh, yes, yes, that uh, that that all that all came as uh, as um, as uh, the uh, as as I, I sort of sort of picked picked. Uh, Yes, and you've got quite an imagination as well in, in, in telling the story, and you've got the, the conflict there. And I know one thing that you you mentioned in, in, in talking about the book, the uh, the kids liked the words, what you described as odd words. You've got, in fact, at the back of the book, you've got some words that uh, that you made up so the kids can understand exactly what they are because they've never heard them before. And what other words that uh, they may not have heard but are actual words Words are so important, obviously, to you in in telling the story, aren't they? Yes. Um, uh, uh, as a as as a as a child, um, um, I was uh, uh, by two two of my favourite um, authors were um, Edward Lear and um, uh, and and um, what's his what's his name. <laughs> um, uh, Edward Lear and Lewis Carroll. Oh yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And um, I, uh, one of one of my favourite poems was um, uh, Jabberwocky uh, by uh, uh, Lewis Carroll. Um, I, I I really I really um, really got into his um, uh, his uh, his uh, uh, his his style of. Um, of uh, 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 of uh, bringing bring, bringing it in, in new words. Um, um, yes, and, and you uh, know you can you can tell that influence that he had on your writing. And and one thing that sticks out is as you're reading the book, and the book we're talking about is Saga of Moby <laughs> Beast or the Redemption of Sir Robert. One thing that uh, that really jumps out is you treat the reader in most cases a a young person, young adult. Uh, you treat them with you, you don't talk down to them, do you? You you understand their intelligence and, and they they understand the story. It's something that uh, again you don't talk down to them. You're treating them as uh, as an intelligent young person. Yes, absolutely. Yes, uh, they they never fail to amaze me. Uh, right. Uh, my and uh, my nephews and nieces um, 
they 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 just they the young the young ones are are, are quite magical but they uh their their intelligence is is amazing yeah and i read that you mentioned that they all absorb like a sponge if you throw something out there you think okay they're not going to pay attention to this or remember this and you find out later they actually hang on every word and remember every word that you said it it it's interesting. I, I, I mentioned at the beginning the six nephews, three nieces, four grandnieces, five grandnephews might have even gone up since I, I looked at your bio the last time. What kind of response do you do you get from family? This has to be rewarding because you've got your sort of own built-in book club, don't you? Yes, yeah, sort, of, <laughs> sort of. Yes, yes. They they all in, they all enjoy um, what what I've what I've done. As um, the uh, 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 I, I have I have um, a collection collection of um, of uh, of uh, of limericks and um, and other po- poetry and um, uh, they all they all uh, they all love it. How long did it take you to write the book? One from the time you decided, okay, I, I think I'm going to put some things down on paper and let's see what I have here. Once you started that process, until you you were finished with the story and, and satisfied with the story, how long a process was that for you? Oh, it was it was quite uh, prolonged because um, uh, it was it was uh, one of those things that you you um, uh, you do a little bit with and then uh, you may not go back to it for some time and uh, then pick it up from from there um, so so it, it, it uh, probably took several years before I um, before I actually finished it and um, uh, and of course and of course uh, uh, I, I also I also um, uh, edited it from time to time uh, well, come come back and see something that I didn't quite like. I'd uh, I would um, fix it. The book we're talking about is Saga of Moby Beast or the Redemption of Sir Robert. The book is is dedicated to your brother. Tell me uh, uh, about your brother and why you decided to dedicate the book to him. Uh, uh, I had I had four brothers at one stage. Um, three of them have died from cancer at an, uh, an early day early age um, uh, uh, my uh, uh, Nor- Norwich Charles was um, was um, uh, was my uh, was was my um, younger brother um, his his name was his name was Norris and um, uh, uh, it was, it's that's his first and second and uh, second name, Norris Charles, and um, uh, I dedicated it to him uh, because, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I dedicated it to him. Yes, and the book we're talking about is Saga of Moby Beast or the Redemption of Sir Robert. Books available at. Uh, uh, all the usual places, Amazon, you'll find it, Book Venture. Go to the website, mobybeast.com. A few minutes left in the program. I keep mentioning uh, uh, Sir Robert. The book follows the adventures of Sir Robert. It's interesting because he's called upon to uh, uh, to come in basically and save the day at the end, and he's battling some demons along the way as well, isn't he? Tell me a little bit about Sir Robert. Yeah, Sir, Sir Robert, um, Sir Robert's uh, uh, problem is that... Um, uh, in, in the in, in his in his youth, um, uh, he he was um, uh, he was uh, he uh, took the uh, he, uh, he 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 took the, um, the the credit for um, for um, uh, battles won and and things like that, where where in actual fact he. Uh, he hadn't. Uh, he hadn't done a lot of the things that um, that uh, were attributed to him. Um, not that he. Not that he told lies or anything like that. It's just that um, 
that uh, his um, cohorts were uh, uh, were um, uh, uh, would would sort of um, uh, 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 um, yeah, and you talk about that where he he would take credit and really wasn't his credit to take, but at the end of the day. He not only slays the uh, the beast, as we're talking about, he uh, rescues the maid, and he's there to save the day. And he really turned his own life around, too, didn't he? He basically saved the town and and, and saved himself. It, it turned his life around. That's that's right, and that's, a, that's his redemption. And um, uh, uh, and for, for, from, from, from my point of view, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy... I'm happy that uh, that uh, that the ending is uh, is uh, is a is a is a happy one. It is, and there's so many stories that uh, the young people will uh, will grasp, and stories that you can uh, talk about if you're reading these to to young people or reading along with young people. Uh, what are you working on now? Do you have something else? Uh, another another book that you've got in the on the way to be print, uh, printed. Uh, not, not at the printing stage yet, but um, but yes, I do have uh, an, an, another child's book um, in the uh, in the in the wind, um, the lemming tree. That's about all I can tell you at the moment. Okay, well, you'll keep us hanging for that, and we will stay in touch and love to have you come back and uh, and talk about that. The book we're discussing is the awfully gory and really quite scary saga of Moby Beast or the Redemption of Sir Robert. It's a tale by Nori Charles, Saga of Moby Beast or the Redemption of Sir Robert. Book is available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, link on directly at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. And the website for the book and for Nori is mobybeast.com. You can, of course, log on and get all the information by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Nori, I thank you so much for being with us on the program today. Good luck with the book. Really enjoyed having a chance to read it. Excellent job. And uh, we will stay in touch. And hopefully with the new book, we'll have a chance to talk about that as well. Thank you, thank you, Rick. Rick, and um, uh, and uh, uh, I apologize for my uh, uh, um, uh, stops and starts. Well, I really appreciate the uh, the opportunity to to have you on the program. I really enjoyed that. And once again, the book it's an excellent read, beautifully done. Saga of Moby Beast or the Redemption of Sir Robert, available at the website mobybeast.com. And, of course, information available at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. We're back after these messages. <laughs> 